Hi folks, this is Poydog808 and I'm coming at you with another commentary. Now I haven't been on Verbmodo Gamers in a while and I'm pretty pumped to be making a video for you guys. Um, this started off, I was just trying to make a, a quick uh, MXS video, kind of montage thing and then I was like, you know what, I haven't really done anything outside of MXS for a while. I mean, I'm really addicted to MXS, uh, but it doesn't mean I don't play the other games. I mean, Reflex is probably the other most played game I have and uh, I kind of go between the two. Um, now the reason I don't play alive anymore, which is where I, I was ready to set up camp and, and lock it down to just that game, but uh, once they stopped supporting the game, um, I pretty much stopped supporting the game. <laughs> uh, it's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, Reflex has had a small community going as far as the track designs go. I know there's some people out there that already made some free rider areas. Uh, it's only terrain and no objects or anything like that, no laps or anything that can be done. But the fact that they uh, opened that Pandora's box of track development for Reflex has got me pretty excited. Um, I've been on MXS doing a lot of things like uh, tutorials and stuff like that to help people out. Uh, it's all beginner stuff. I'm not advanced. I don't, I don't claim to be a, a great track maker, but I do know how to use the tools. So I did some tutorials for that. I did a couple tracks and I made an application to help you launch all the different things you can do with the game. And uh, I don't know. I'm pretty stoked with MXS. Uh, the developer JOV is like right there if you have any questions or any any problems and he's a really cool guy to talk to and uh, everybody I've met in the forums for the most part really cool I mean there's some trolls here and there but I think you're gonna get that anywhere uh, I, I definitely got it when I was on the MVA forum so yeah uh, trolls are everywhere but overall I just kinda wanted to scratch the surface of the games I play right now and and uh, just letting you know what what cool games are out there. Sort of like a weird countdown. Um, currently, I guess I got a top four favorites. Uh, these are the games I kind of fall back on. Uh, Untamed is probably the least fall back on, but I still go back to it because there's just so much. I mean, between the Free Ride Nationals, Supercross, Freestyle, uh, Open Cross, Supermoto, Enduro Cross, Waypoint, Mini Moto, there's, a, there's just a lot of fun to be had in this game, and uh, I can still go back to it and have a lot of fun. Um, as your game is loading, you can actually mess around on your bike, and that, to me, I've never seen it before. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And when you're online, you got a, you know a lobby full of people just hanging out and goofing around, just waiting for the track to load, instead of just staring at a, a blank, you know, a screen with the loading symbol popping up and down. Um, Mini Moto is is goofy, but it's it's still fun. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys ever got into the 50 scene. I did, and uh, I had a riot with it. I mean, it's something you can just pull out of the garage and just cruise up and down the street or you can load up in your truck and go down to like the local skate park and screw around there. I mean, you know, the legal and non-legal things to be doing, but I mean, you can build a, a quick ramp for it and find a dirt pile to jump on and onto. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I also did videos with the 50s and stuff like that. And I don't know, it, it was a good time. And uh, I think to me, that's like one of the most important things with motocross or the, the most effective thing with me that I have a good time with it. I know I've tried trail riding and stuff like that several times and uh, to be honest it's it's uh, it's not quite as fun to me as like hitting up the track. I mean I don't like being stuck in the middle of nowhere my bike break or fall off a cliff or something. Uh, it's nice that if I eat shit at a dirt bike track I can just kind of crawl my way off to the side and get to my truck. Um, I don't know, uh, Enduro Cross in this game was a lot of fun because I didn't have to worry about getting hurt for one, and I don't know, it, it, Enduro Cross, I, I miss it a lot, and uh, I know there's some, or actually I only know of one in MXS, and I'd like to kind of see more. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's challenging and it's fun in its own way, so. But yeah, I, I miss Enduro Cross a lot. I hope it, you know, uh, starts to resurface again. If you ever watch any of this stuff live, these guys are nuts. Uh, Supermoto. Uh, I never did any any tarmac racing on a dirt bike, although I've always dreamed of owning one that's street legal, so I don't have to ever stop riding my bike. But I guess the closest I'm going to get is a video game as far as racing on tarmac. Um, I don't know. Supermoto was a lot of fun for me uh, within this game and this franchise, but uh, it seems like this is the last time you'll see it throughout the franchise. Uh, I know Reflex and Alive didn't have it, or Alive could have had the potential to have it, but just never got there. Um, 
MXS, I know the most recent moto, super moto track I know of is done by uh, Moto Boss, and once again, it, it was fun. Uh, super moto is fun, definitely. Moving on to MX versus ATV Alive. Um, I don't know, this, this game could have been so much, there was so much potential for this game. Uh, to have a community feedback patch where they tweak the physics, I mean, that's just crazy. If you think about that, like, they tweak the physics on a game that's a hard disk, and you're able to download it and patch it. I mean, this was unheard of before in consoles. So the, the idea that they're doing it and, or we're doing it was, I was really stoked about it. Um, I liked everything about the game. Uh, aside from the whips, I guess. The whips felt awkward. Um, it was hard to position the bike and point it in the direction you wanted it. Or get, a, get a good whip flow was almost impossible. The scrubs were great. I liked the scrubs, but the whips just felt weird. Um, but I did like the seat bounce thing and the clutch, you know, power band and all that. The, you know, a lot of people were complaining about those. I actually liked it a lot. It felt more realistic to me to have your clutch boost you up a little bit because that's basically what it does when you ride. And the seat bounce thing, I've, I definitely seat bounce and uh, I don't see why it shouldn't be in this game. Um, graphically, the game was just super impressive. Uh, they toned down a lot of the uh, terrain deformations so uh, it seemed more realistic. Uh, I know Reflex kind of went overboard with that but uh, nonetheless, they did a fantastic job. Uh, this. Stewart compound alone to me was worth buying the game. Uh, the download, the DLC stuff got a little pricey, I won't lie. I definitely spent over $60 uh, to get the content I wanted, like the aftermarket bikes and whatnot. I understand there was a lot of politics and everything behind all of that. And it's just a shame that they shut down the whole franchise because of whatever situation they were facing. Um, it's a unique franchise, and uh, I think it still had a lot of potential, and they could still go back to this game and and re reignite it, in my opinion. But, you know, I don't work at THQ, and, and that's just how it is. Now, for number two, uh, MXS, MX Simulator. Uh, this game is like crack. Um, even though I've quit this game, I don't know, a billion times already, and uh, I keep coming back to it, uh, there's so much fun to be had with the game and you're not even playing it like with track making and uh, making skins for your rider and skins for the bike and being involved in the community and the, uh, the racing that goes on like um, Race race Factory, I think it's racefactory.com uh, they host uh, races that follow along with the Supercross series which is really cool because uh, they do it live and you can actually get on watch it live and get on the chat and you know just chat it up with everybody from the forums and whatnot and support your favorite rider and I don't know it's pretty cool uh, and I also like the fact that I can you know watch Supercross and then right after that's done I'm I'm on MXS playing the same track I just watched you know on TV and I'm playing it in the game so uh, definitely MXS offers so much I mean I've only recently gone to the site and, and been playing a lot online uh, you can get to the servers you know, through the site and stuff to launch the game for you. But what's really cool is that uh, as you progress, you'll get little trophies and stuff. And uh, you can actually see all the stats from your races. So if you, let's say you race and you won and you want to go back and you want to see, you know, how it all went down. There's a, you know, play-by-play, -play, you know, if somebody passes you or if you pass somebody. And it gives, you know, the times of your laps and, you know, your consistency and all kinds of stuff. And it's just really, really, really cool and a lot of fun to uh, get into. Uh, but MXS is definitely coming close to being my number one. Reflex has definitely taken the spot, and I'll explain why. I'm an absolute sucker for visual. Uh, this game knocks it out of the park. Presentation. You got the super cross going on here with the fireworks and everything's lighting up. And you got the crowd screaming, camera flashes, the camera work working up to you and the mechanic on the line. and. You know, the last minute checks, 30 second girl holds up the sign, and I mean, you're ready to go. And as you're sitting there, and the gate drops, fireworks will light up on the side, and you're on your way. And then you got the outdoor nationals that just feels epic. The whole look and feel of it, the trees, the dust blowing over everything. 
I mean, really, visually, this game is amazing from the terrain deformation, textures, models. I mean, you even have the, the flailing, wailing, inflatable guy on the side there, giant muscle milk container. I mean, I don't know. I just, visually, this game knocks it out of the park for me. You can hear the dirt under your bike and just, I don't know, it just feels right. And if you crash, I mean, you come off your bike and you flail and the whole ragdoll system kicks in. And I don't know, I, as much as it may suck to crash, it's still nice to see you dislodge from the bike. Maybe not that many times though. And then there's freestyle. Again. You get wrapped up in the moment, it's an actual event, it's not just an open free riding world, uh, there's a point system and everything. Uh, as you do more in the event, more fireworks go off. I don't know, it's, it's just a lot of fun. I guess overall, I mean, between having separate analog sticks for your rider and your bike and uh, ragdoll physics actually coming off the bike, the visual look overall the the control that you have i don't know just this game is a complete package to me i know the online pretty much suck but uh you can link up and do local still and that's a bonus for me any game that can land on the console is a, is a bonus for me as well and uh i don't know um, mxs is a a great game and really kind of ties up with Reflex, but Reflex takes the cake. And that's simply my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. For daily motocross pro and am coverage, be sure to log on to verbmoto.com. And if you like us, prove it.